Well, hello, shiny, crafty people, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim Totten, and today I'm going to teach you how to make some really cute holiday decorations for your table from items that I bought at the dollar store. Actually, Dollar Tree. So uh, join me for this $1 uh, sort of glow up of some really cute items that you can buy at the dollar store. Here's at this cutting table and we'll get started. So I bought a couple of these glass cylinders and I'm gonna put a candle from the dollar store down into the bottom of it, light that up, and it's gonna shine nice and pretty and bright through there. So a dollar piece of glass, a dollar candle, and a dollar placemat. I also bought this uh, this really cute, simple mini hot glue gun at another store. I think it was like $3.99 or something. You'll also need something to cut with, either a pair of scissors if you feel like comfortable cutting straight, or I'm gonna use a rotary cutter and a measuring device. What I did here is I um, I figured out how big I wanted my, uh, my napkin rings to be, and I want them sort of three trees tall, if that makes any sense. And that's about two and a half inches uh, tall. So what I did is I just cut one strip of those three off the top and then I came back in and used the balance of that to, to sort of make, actually what I did is I cut two sections of that, two of those so I could get, use half of each one like this for my napkin rings. And then I used the balance of that which was six trees tall to make the part that goes around the glass piece. So what you do for your your napkin ring is I cut two and a half inches strip off the top and then cut it in half. And then I folded it around. Let me get this one out from underneath so it's not so hard to see that. I came here with my hot glue gun and just ran some hot glue right along the edge, folded this back on itself, and glued it. And because this is a mini glue gun, it's not the super high temperature. So even though the glue is sort of squeezing through this material, um, it's not gonna burn me or anything like that. And if you need to add a little more, you can go in here and kind of shove a little more glue under there. And this is really just to make a decorative napkin ring for your table. So isn't that kind of cute? Those look good. And you can make them smaller if you want to. Maybe you don't want to go that full. Maybe you want it to be a little bit smaller around so it's a little smaller napkin ring. You could easily do that. Now, the only thing to notice is that these sort of have sides to them. See, there's kind of a aside so you want to make sure that um, you're going to look and make sure they're all matched the same all right so let's let's go ahead and cut the section off the bottom that's going to be six of these tall as if we had cut the other ones i'm going to go along through with my rotary cutter and I'm going to measure up those it's basically cutting this in half and i'm just marking my line my cutter right along the lines of those triangles which actually i'll do it this way for you so you see they're kind of meant to look like trees. You see how that goes? So they're sort of Christmassy. And these were there now during Christmas time. So I'm pretty sure at Dollar Tree they're selling these as Christmas time. I'm gonna cut that off there. And then we'll get our glass piece. I will measure it around and decide how far I need to go to match. And then I'll decide how much of that to cut off. So I'm gonna come here and I see it's overlapping, and I'm just gonna cut sort of halfway up this tree. So I can take that to my table if I want, or I can just see that it's going right up those trees and just cut them right in half. There we go. I'll go ahead and put that back on. Now, I'm not gonna glue this directly to the glass because I want it to be able to slide off later. So I'm gonna try not to be overly generous with my glue. I'm going to try to be a little bit sparing. I'm just going to put a little at the end here and stick it down. What's great is because this is a plastic material, it's really responding well to the glue. It really wants to be held with this glue because it's kind of melting with the glue, a little bit, the heat. And it is a low heat, a low temperature uh, glue gun. It's not the super high heat that I used to burn the crap out of my hands with. All right, so how good does that look? You see, I've just, I've made that one like this. Perfectly matches the other one. Oh, I can kind of hear an echo of myself. And then if we were to put this candle and light it, put it in there, think now how nice that will look. So let me show you what that looks like on my table at home. See how the light glows through? I've kind of turned the lights off so you can see that. And, uh, 
and the way it matches with my I have my white plates with the the green napkins and the the red those red napkin rings and the light coming through and and you know you could you can dress this up like I did with a little bit of the um with the white fluffy material so it kind of looks like either clouds or snow and um it just gives you a really cute look a really cute look for your your dining room table. So again, that is these really cute crafty things you can do with, uh, right now I did them with Christmas style stuff, but you know, every other part of the year, go to the Dollar Tree, see what kind of fun stuff they have, and you can make this kind of stuff in just minutes. So for less than $10, my entire table has a new look ready for the holidays for the very few people that are coming over in 2020. Well, until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up, watch for other stuff coming soon. And until then, folks, stay crafty. Bye for now.